systemic racism in law enforcement. Hello, everyone. I'm Lana Zak. Thank you so much for joining me. President Trump rallied supporters in Michigan on Thursday as he continues to play defense over comments that he made to journalist Bob Woodward about the severity of the coronavirus pandemic. The president's remarks are drawing condemnation from his Democratic challenger, Joe Biden. The latest development in the race for the White House comes as both candidates zone in on key battleground states. Ed O'Keefe starts us off with the latest. A defiant and defensive President Trump today tried to argue he was showing strength by not downplaying the dangers of the coronavirus. I didn't lie. What I said is we have to be calm. We can't be panicked. But Mr. Trump was privately telling author Bob Woodward in early February that he knew the coronavirus was a deadly airborne disease. You know, it's a very tricky situation. It's, uh, it, indeed it, goes, is. it goes through air, Bob. Still, the president went on to hold indoor campaign rallies over the next month, packed with thousands of people. Today, the president denied any responsibility. And this is China's fault. And blamed Woodward for not publishing sooner. If Bob Woodward thought it was bad, then he should have immediately gone out publicly, not wait four months. It's unclear what Mr. Trump meant by the authorities. Joe Biden's campaign sees the president's comments as a pivotal moment in the race, an admission that thousands of lives could have been saved had Mr. Trump spoken up. He waved a white flag. He walked away. He didn't do a damn thing. Think about it. Think about what he did not do. And it's almost criminal. Democrats were already on the air this morning with a new ad. I wanted to always play it down. And running mate Kamala Harris kept up the offensive while courting African-American voters today in Miami. This is the same man, Donald Trump, who for days, weeks, if not months thereafter, called it a hoax dismissed the seriousness of it to the point that he suggested people should not wear masks. And Ed O'Keefe joins us.